Hi friends, welcome back. In previous session, we have created Razor application and we have created index page to display all the products from the SQL Server database like this. In today's session, we are going to work on creating a new product. Whenever, whenever user clicks on this create button, it should redirect to create page. There, we will display a form to create the new product. I am going to create new page here go to the product folder right click here add razor page here select the empty page add i'll make it as create this is going to be my new razor page add it here we can see two files has been created as we explained in previous session in to insert the data we need app db context for that I'm going to initialize here. My app DB context. This is going to be context. Here select the context. Generate constructor for this. Now we can access appdb context from our create page. Here we need to create one property which is here we have to call the product. I'll name it as products. So we have to make this as a bind property to communicate with our uh, view that is create CS HTML here I'm going to change this as I action result here we are going to return the page so we are going to return the create page here so this is for to display the form also we need another action method to post the data for that I'm going to create another action method which is going to be async task i action result so this is going to be asynchronous action method if model state we need to check the model state is valid or not is not valid or context dot products products are null or products null if any one condition is satisfied then we are going to return the empty page else then we have to add the products to the database context dot products dot add so we will get the products here by using the bind property we have to pause it here here I am going to save the changes since it's a asynchronous method we need to use the await here so we have to make it as asynchronous method finally we are going to redirect this page instead of action we need to pause it to page So here we can name it as name of index. So once product is created, we are redirecting our create page to index page. Now we have to design the create page. So our business logics we have completed here. We will go to the create.cshtml.
first we will define the title here. Title. So I'll make it as just create. So this I'm going to use it for page title also. So inside the page I'm going to display the same title. Then I'll make it as on horizontal row. Then I'll use the div here class. row insert this I'll use another div class md4 then I'll use the form here we'll create one form inside this this method is going to be post we are going to post the data to the db i'll create another div here so here we can display the validation errors also if required i'm not going to do that here i'll use the class form group i'll use the label here sp4 here I can use products dot product name the class control label. So I will So this is the label then we will display the input here ASP4 So here we will display the validations same thing I will copy it for other controls and we are going to display the price here here I can make it type as number then we need quantity we'll create another div Margin top two. Then here I'll use the input type is submit value.
here I am going to declare on anchor tag Here we have to declare the route. Here I am going to pass it to the. So whenever here we have to display like back to list instead of that, we will make it as product list. So to validate from the client side, we need to add the partial view. So after the div, I am going to add section scripts. Here we are going to add a weight render partial async. Here we have to pass the validation scripts partial which is available here. Go to the shade. So this is the validation scripts which we added here. So this is used for mainly client side validations. Build the application. So there is no error, go to the create CS file, we will keep the debug point here and uh, run the application in debug mode. I will click on the products, we can see the products which is available in the database currently, click on create. So it is redirecting to our create form. So I will do some changes here. So now it is clear. Enter the product name here. So currently we have these two products, I will add another product here, price I will make it as quantity, suppose without entering quantity I will try to create this, so quantity field is required, I will make it quantity, create, so it is hitting to our post action method. I will go next step. Here we can see is valid. Yes, it is valid. And here we can see the since it is a new product, it is showing idea 0 and price is this. And the Lenovo quantity. So we are able to see this. I will go to the next step. So once it is saved, so it should redirect to our index page. So it is redirected as we expected. So it is binding the recently added product. I will try to create another product. I will click on create. So it will enforce user to enter all the data. So this is client side validation. It is not hitting the server side. It is validating from the client side. Come product list. Again it will redirect to your index page whenever you click on create it goes to the create page here I can create something like Dell quantity create it so again it's coming here I'll continue so you can see it's redirected so like this we can 
design the create page and we can insert the data into the database so that's it for today in the next session we are going to work on edit page if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching